Hello and welcome to my video today. I am going to be doing a test. I am going to be leaving my car parked for 10 days while I'm on vacation. Here is the info on the screen. It is 70% state of charge, 211 miles remaining, and it is 1051 on Friday, December 20th. Here's some other info I have on the car, the odometer. We have the charge screen. So I'm going to leave it unplugged, but I am going to have it connected to a 12 volt battery tender. And I've done that before. I think that is a good way of saving energy loss in the car from the high voltage battery pack. Even though I'm at 70%, which is a pretty decent number, I have the 12 volt battery tender right here. I'm going to connect it like I usually do. I am going to go on this side of the car and get out the plug here. And I got to put my camera down. Well, I think I can attach it while I am doing it one handed here. All right, so there we go. We are attached. And we have this info right here, normal charging. So when I come back in 10 days, we'll see what has happened. See how much has been used. I'm also going to be using a kilowatt reader on this tender so I can tell the energy usage. All right, that should do it for now. I am now back from my trip. It's been exactly 10 days since I started this test at, to the hour. And I'm going to now show you what the results are. And I'm actually kind of surprised. So let's go over to the battery monitor. So let's look at the kilowatt meter here. I'm gonna move this around. The kilowatt meter is showing 9.94 kilowatt hours were used over the 10 days, which is easy to calculate as just under one kilowatt hour per day. And if you look at the total battery pack, which is 106.5 kilowatt hours. That works out to 9.33% of the full battery pack. So just under 1% a day, which is, I suppose, pretty normal for the last six to nine months of my ownership of this car. The vampire losses have been about 1% or less per day. So not too surprising. So what I'm doing in this experiment is the battery losses, instead of affecting the high voltage battery pack, is affecting the battery charger, which I think is less wear and tear on the battery pack, less charging on the battery pack, and less discharging on the battery pack, and I get it straight from the wall. So I think this is a better way of doing it. Let's open up the car and look at the driver's screen and the center screen and see if we can find out if there's any additional high voltage battery loss during those 10 days. So I will unlock. And let me go inside. Let me put my seatbelt on because it's not going to be happy unless I do that. And if we look, we still see a 70% state of charge, 193 miles remaining. One thing I've noticed since the 2.2 update is that the miles that are listed on here can vary from time to time due to the new algorithm in calculating those miles. So I don't really rely on those miles anymore as uh, being able to track them for battery usage. 
I really have to go on the state of charge itself. And I started the test at 70% and I'm still at 70%. Let's see, the main screen has turned on. Let's see what we got here. Yep, 70%. And as you can see, I have zero miles from the last charge. Yeah, so I've had no battery loss, no high voltage battery loss over those 10 days, which I think is a good result. There has been some discussion on the use of battery tenders with the Fisker Ocean, especially with the updates. That is a touchy issue and I can understand why uh, it's recommended not to have a battery tender attached to the 12 volt battery during the updates or before the updates because it may give a false sense of the state of that battery's health. That said, if you know that you have battery issues with the car and can't replace the battery before those updates, I, re I still recommend having a 30 amp charger attached to that battery during the update itself. I think that will keep the car from getting bricked which I think is more important than any other factor in this update scenario. But as far as using a tender in other situations, I think it's great to use a tender in my situation that I just did this past week where I had the um, car inside the garage. It's not being driven for a week to two weeks. Put it on the battery tender and you will not have any problems with high voltage battery loss. Even though the 2.2 update, I think, does reduce some of the vampire losses compared to 2.0 in previous versions, I still think a, a battery tender is great for long-term storage for the car. Keeps the 12-volt battery from dying in case the high-voltage battery pack or the car itself does not wake up to charge it. So that's about it. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I will see you in the next video.